Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming an exciting tag video. I actually bookmarked this because I saw Tracy post about this on her Instagram and I'm like, ooh, makeup addiction tag? That sounds like a tag for me. And I bookmarked it on my Instagram or like I saved it on my Instagram and I kept meaning to do it. You know how life goes, but then I saw my friend Hot Mess Ness do this video and I was like, oh my gosh. Makeup addiction tag, I gotta do it. So I'm really, really excited because I really enjoyed hearing Vanessa's answers as well as Tracy's and now you get to hear mine. I also had this like genius idea the other day and I bought myself a backup SD card. So this is my first ever video on my brand new SD card and I remember I've had the same SD card this whole time like that I've had this camera and I never bought a new one because when I first bought the SD card I'm pretty sure it was like 50 bucks and now they're like $12 so if you guys want to know what SD card I use just leave me a comment down below and I'd be happy to send you the link um, I've never had problems with it the only time I've had problems is if I forget to turn on my mic but that's just my fault so if you want the deets on an expensive SD card, I'm your girl. <laughs> I just had to throw that in there because honestly, like everyone always assumes that as a creator, you just have to figure things out on your own. And like, I'm totally open to trying to help people. If they need help or feedback or want to know what I use, just send me a DM or check my description box because all my camera stuff is linked in my description box. For you guys so anyway let's get into it the first question how long have you been addicted to makeup um well I would say it was always an addiction I think when it started off it was a strong liking I just thought makeup was fun and I had just like a little bit of makeup you know like your standard amount like a few foundations couple palettes mostly I was just buying like drugstore or like a few nice things so I would say I've always liked makeup since like moving here but the addiction kind of started I would say a couple of years ago <laughs> when I kind of like got settled into life and you know we have our house and stuff like that and I really took, you know, YouTube more seriously and wanted to create content more often. I think that's kind of when it really started. So I would say like two to three years so far is when the addictions really kicked in. Number two, what is the makeup item you are most addicted to buying? Oh my gosh, this is so easy. Eyeshadow palettes. Like, I love a good eyeshadow. Like, <laughs> I just love the ideas I love the packaging I just love seeing the different color schemes like it totally excites me um, and now seeing like duochromes the different textures all the cool stuff and the good formulas like I love buying eyeshadow palettes number three how many of your favorite items do you have okay um so when I did I did an eyeshadow palette collection pretty recently and I never counted how many palettes I have and I've also added palettes to my collection I will count someday I'm not gonna count right now but if I had to guess I would say under 200 but over a hundred palettes for sure I definitely have a hundred eyeshadow eyeshadow palettes I just don't know if I have more than like 150 I would say if I had to guess but I'm gonna count I'm gonna count sometime okay number four do you buy makeup just to buy it um yeah I would say so sometimes I think there's definitely like a high that I get from buying makeup but the last few months I've tried to be a little bit more conscious because there's things going on in our lives, like we have so many trips coming up. I decided I was gonna go to Jen Live in New York City in October. So I got a lot of not spending to do um, the next couple of months. And so I definitely will say I, I definitely buy stuff to buy stuff sometime, especially during like a sale, like the Sephora sale. I'm like, ooh, like do I need to have a backup 
of my face wash or do I need to buy a backup of my makeup remover or something, you know? I definitely find myself doing that quite a bit. Number five, do you look at an item and have the need compulsion that you need just one more to complete your collection? So, yeah, I think it comes and goes. Like, I have a pretty extensive Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette collection and like I been collecting them since like the days of like Vegas Nay and then they did that artist palette the colorful one and then you know I go through phases where I'm like okay I'm never gonna use this palette again it's actually getting old it's time to toss it or give it to a friend or just get it out of my collection so that phase comes then I collect a few more and then like when subculture happened I sent mine back because I didn't want it and then I bought the Prism palette. I didn't really like it. I ended up selling that one on Poshmark because I'm like, I'm not going to keep this around. I don't even like the formula. And now it's Jackie Ina's palette launched today. And I'm like, yeah, I want it. But I know I can get it on sale in like a couple of days because that's what happens with ABH. It's like a pattern. They launch their palette. Then it comes out on Sephora. And then... Macy's and Ulta and usually when it comes to Macy's or Ulta it's about time for them to have a discount so I will just wait and get it on one of those websites and hopefully if I can score it at a discount I will or I'll try and get some points from Sephora or Ulta but I kind of slowed down on that like I like to have the collection completed but I've been doing it less and less. It's just more about the palette. If it speaks to me, I'll buy it, but I won't buy it just so I can say like I have all of them anymore. Okay, number six. Do you have more than 10 mascaras? How many are open? I do have more than 10 mascaras. How many do I have open right now? I have two mascaras open right now. They're my absolute favorites. And I actually stuck stickers on them from when I opened these because I wanted to know if I was using them past expiration. So I opened these on May the 8th and it's August 6th when I'm filming this video. So yeah, they're, they're like just about expired and I still feel like there's a little bit more traction I can get from them. But yeah, I um, only have two open right now. And I have some colorful mascaras, but I really gravitate towards black mascara. It's just what works for me. Number seven, do you ever throw any makeup away? I do throw makeup away if I don't like it or if it's something like I can't resell, like if it's something drugstore or it's like a really terrible product. Honestly, most of the time it has to be like a really bad product. I find myself throwing away a lot of like eyeliners, especially like drugstore the other day. Like, you know, sometimes BH will send you like a free eyeliner and I got one with a purchase and their like felt tip liners are so crappy and I was like more than happy to toss that in the trash because I was like nobody deserves to have to deal with this stupid eyeliner. <laughs> Number eight, what is your oldest makeup item? So my oldest makeup item is this palette by Urban Decay. I bought this in 2009 when I was on spring break in Hawaii and it doesn't have a name, but it says made in Italy, filled in China, and it is, I don't know what year this was made, but I got it in 2009 because I remember that trip, and this is what it looks like. You guys can clearly tell I really love this palette. Apparently the shade Honey was like my jam. So yeah, this is the oldest makeup product in my collection, and I am not getting rid of it. I also still have some Urban Decay eyeliners from that trip as well as some single shadows but I like to bring out the palette because it's just so funny because that's such an iconic palette from Urban Decay from back in the day and what it's like 2000 like 10 years old that's crazy. Number nine how often do you shop for makeup? <laughs> I shop for makeup every day. I definitely shop for makeup every day. I typically try not to buy makeup every day but I have alerts set up on trend mood every time she posts I get an alert on my phone and I love seeing the latest stuff that's coming out I love to browse the Sephora just arrives page 
I love to look at the Alta new releases page. Those are like my two favorite things um, when I'm looking. And Trend Mood. Trend Mood is like the number one enabler when it comes to me looking at new makeup. But yeah, it's usually looking um, and then buying is less frequent. Okay, number 10. Do you buy any products just for the packaging? Uh, no, I'm not really somebody that would buy products just for the packaging. I think packaging drives me to try something, but usually I have to feel like either it's a brand I like or it's a concept that I'm interested in. For example, the one thing that comes into mind is the MAC Aladdin collection. I picked up two pieces from that collection, but I really like that bronzer and the highlighter is really beautiful too. So it just so happened that I was interested in it because I saw the packaging, but I made the purchase because I knew that that bronzer would be flattering to my skin tone and I knew that the highlighter would also be flattering to my skin tone. I wouldn't have bought it if the bronzer was too light. Um, I don't do that. And same with other products as well. You know, if the packaging is nice, it's a plus for me, but it's not the whole reason to buy something. The other thing I can think of are the Glam Light food themed palettes. Yes, the fact that they were food themed got me interested, but what really like drew me in is their formula and the shade selection. For example, the burger palette has so many beautiful green shades in it, and the taco palette, again, had some beautiful greens, and again, I just really like Glam Lights formula, so, you know, in if anything, the packaging was like a minus point, because they are a bitch to store, so, yeah, that's my answer for that. And number 11, when an item is released that you want, do you set an alarm? I I don't set an alarm usually. If it's something I know is going to sell out really quickly, I will put it in my calendar or my planner just so I know the day is coming up, but usually I don't set an alarm. Um, back in the day I may have, um, but also now my job. I sit in front of the computer most of the day, so it's very easy for me to hop on and buy something and so I don't really need to worry about setting an alarm. And plus I have the trend mood alert, so usually when she posts, I know like, oh, something probably just became available. <laughs> so she's kind of like my alarm too. Okay, number 12, do you have the Alta and Sephora apps on your phone? Of course I do. Number 13, do you have so much makeup that you forget what you have that you purchase items again? I haven't done that yet, nope. I lied. I have done it, but it was only with like the ColourPop singles because at one point I was like really into buying their curated single palettes. So when they first launched some of their newer singles at the beginning of this year, I purchased that palette and then they launched like a pink purple themed palette during the like Valentine time and I picked that one up and then I realized that some of the pink shades were duplicated in this new palette. So that was kind of irritating. But for the most part, if I am trying to buy something and I already know I have some of those products from the brand, especially this happens with single eyeshadows a lot. So if I'm about to do like a purchase, I'll try and pull up my emails from previous orders just to make sure I'm not duplicate buying single eyeshadows. And I think even Vanessa had mentioned this, that like I really need a spreadsheet of all my makeup. Like one of my goals in 2019 is to inventory my makeup collection just so I know what I have. I really want to know what I have. I want to make sure I've used and tested everything in my current collection before bringing more new things into my collection, so that's a huge goal of mine. I do try not to duplicate things, but it only happens to me with single eyeshadows. I don't ever buy like the same palette twice or anything like that. Number 14, does your makeup make you happy? Yes, it does. I enjoy my makeup collection so, so much because in its weird way, to me, it feels like a really worthwhile hobby to be able to connect with women from all over the world to just have these few moments of your time every day or every other day or whatever my schedule is. It just brings me so much joy. The conversations I get to have and then some of the creators too that I've gotten to meet and the women I've gotten to support and the businesses I've gotten to see grow. It just brings me so much joy. Like if I could do this full time, I would love to because it genuinely makes me happy. 
and I put so much of like blood, sweat, and tears into this. Yeah, I just feel so good about everything I do with makeup. And on the other side, the side you guys don't see is ever so often I get to do my friend's makeup. I'm doing two weddings this year. I'm doing a wedding in September and in October, two friends. Like the fact that I get to give them that skill is so cool because I, I mean like one of my friends what that I'm doing makeup for she sang at my wedding and to be able to do something for her on her special day like that's such an amazing honor and my other friend was one of my attendants personal attendants and I had worked with her for years and years and years at a previous job and for me to get to do her makeup like that's such an honor so makeup does make me happy not just in the fact of just buying it it makes me happy because I get to like show people how to use makeup and like I'm not saying like I'm a professional like oh, learn from me but just like hearing how inspired people feel after watching my videos talking to people making friends like having people check in on me it's all because of makeup like that's like the glue that holds my little YouTube and Instagram family together. Not to say that if I lost all my makeup, like I don't think all these people would go away because I feel like we've definitely like gotten beyond makeup in our friendships. But the fact that that's what brought us together, it means something to me. And so it makes me happy. And even like <laughs> in here in my room, like my husband knows this is like my sanctuary. I just get so much joy from keeping it organized and being creative and it like gives me energy you know more than any job I've ever had so it does mean a lot to me I hope that wasn't like a weird windy answer but I just wanted to speak my truth <laughs> my truth anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will go ahead and tag some people down in the description box and if I forget I tag you do this tag and let Tracy know she's an absolute sweetheart. She works so hard on her channel. I just subscribed to her actually, so you guys should too. And I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye!